So it's November 3rd, and you're low-key freaking out about everything that's going on in the world. So what do you do about it? You drink plenty of whiskey and hope you get to sleep tonight. Welcome to Kilco. My name is Brian, and today we are trying two whiskeys that are the same but different. I decided to do both of these at once tonight because I wanted to compare them both. One of them is a single malt, and one of them is a single malt from a select barrel specifically. I don't know if they're going to be exactly the same or slightly different or what. All I know is that they're a single malt, and all that tells me is that it's from a single distillery, Sirud, and they're probably malted barley. The rules are different in America. Normally with scotch, a single malt usually needs barley, but... I have no idea. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, okay? Okay. As always, this must be entertaining to somebody somewhere. Uh, uh, I think it'd be easy. Corpac time. These are really hard to get off, by the way. Oh, God. Pouring this one into my whiskey bolt glass so I know which is which. I may be pouring a little more than normal tonight. That's fine. That's fine. Science. I know it's like you just saw this, but. And again, these are not your normal corks. I think they're silicone, so they're very interesting to pull off here. I think I've got the hang of it by now. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's cool. It's, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to sleep good tonight. I hope. Now we begin. These are much lighter than usual. Again, they remind me of Scotch color or Irish. Uh, this one here is the regular Cedar Ridge uh, single malt. And the other one is a single barrel. They're almost identical. This one might be a little darker, but I can't hardly tell. I have to admit, I did get kind of a whiff of this when I was opening the bottles, and it does remind me of scotch immediately, just from like a hint. Oh yeah, that's funky. That's like... Reminds me of mushrooms is bizarre and it's kind of it's actually very sweet like uh, I thought powdered sugar for a second there whoa this is definitely not what I expected at all this is a strange bizarre sort of sweet and it's definitely reminding me of scotch so I guess that's good or bad it's almost a cherry note but that could be my imagination but this is definitely not bourbon. Let's be clear. All right. There's a couple a couple notes on that one. Let's get to the other one. I gotta try to get these both back to back so I can see if there's immediately a difference. This is a single barrel. This one's similar, but it's fainter. still got a weird funkness to it, but it's not as uh, prominent as the other one. It doesn't smell as sweet either. I don't know if it was in the, in the barrel longer or if it's a different kind of barrel. I wish I knew that, but I don't because it's hard to find any info about these tiny little sample balls. All in all, I like this one just because it isn't as pronounced. Now we're going to go for the taste and see what happens. Uh, I didn't mention earlier, but these are both 40%, strangely enough. There we go. Oh, it's got a citrus note to it, too. This is weird. This is definitely almost scotch to me. And it's freaking me out. I don't really taste much of anything on the first sip there. Ooh. Burn going down. No, for for the nose on this, 
the immediate taste on it wasn't really much of anything. Very light. Um, I'm getting a little feeling on the tongue, uh, as if I'd just had some pepper on food kind of thing, but nothing crazy. One more sip. Oh. No, that's ridiculously faint, and I don't know why. The smell is more interesting than the taste. The taste is almost non-existent to me. I don't know why. But again, from what little research I did about these, this single malt that they have now, I think, is at a higher percentage. And, and with many of their products, they've gone up. So my hope is that just with, like, a 3% difference, they probably have more taste in them. But I don't know. I haven't tried those yet. Maybe I will at some point. Now to try the single cask and see if there's anything different about this. If this tastes more than the other one somehow, that'll be weird because the smell on this one is so faint. And really all I'm getting is like a slight cellar weird sense to it. Like uh, I said before with some scotches, there's a, I think it's a sherry finish where I get this weird funk. And that's what it's reminding me of. But it is sweet. It does have a few... Like a very faint fruit note to it, but I couldn't place what. But since I said cherry, I'd guess maybe wine or grapes or something. Anyway, tasting the... No. Oh. Okay, as far as the taste goes, an initial sip, not much, but... It's drying out my tongue a little, instead of making it all prickly. So there's a difference. Exactly what that difference is, I'm not sure, but... Actually, I like this one better. A single cask. I'm getting a chocolate note. Like, whatever reason, it's clingier. And it's just giving me this weird kind of milk chocolate vibe, which I like. And it burns on the way down. But the other ones seem comparatively uh, tame compared to this. This one definitely has a little more going on. And I'm not sure if that's the cask it was in or, or what. Because as I said, I couldn't find much info on these. But at least we know they're different. <laughs> that's the good thing. That's it. If nothing else, we figured out. They are different. Uh, we are back on the single malt itself. And now it's got more floral. The nose on this one's lovely, but it's it's weird. Try one more time. Very light, very approachable. The smell would probably put people off immediately just because it's so scotch-esque. But it's fine as an introduction to scotch. And I know it's a single malt American style, but it's interesting. I definitely am curious about what else is going on with this. Like, if they up the percentage, if they put it in different barrels, that kind of thing. I am curious as to what this would be like. One more taste for the other one. This was a silver one. This is a single cask. Yeah, the funk out of this one's the really the only prominent note. Well, this one had a little more sweetness. Or the other one, I should say, had a little more sweetness. Yeah, this one has more of a drying out effect and does remind me of chocolate. Other than that, nothing too crazy about it. And most of, the, most of all, would I like these at a higher percentage? Yes, I would. I, I definitely would. But I am glad there's a noticeable difference, which is why... I decided to do it this way, so yeah. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finalize the back and forth of this because there's pretty much no direct info about both of these bottles. I'm just gonna figure out which one I like most and why. This one, the uh, single malt whiskey that was in the tiny bottle, uh, you know, batch 12, number three, very sweet, kind of funky, 
Uh, reminds me of mushrooms and kind of being in a forest almost with some flowers nearby or something like that. But the taste isn't much to me, which, which is why I think they upped the percentage of it. I definitely like the smell on this one more than the single cask. But, as far as the taste, it's not much. Yeah, I'm leaving it right on my tongue. That time it gave me kind of a bitter note, which is strange. And it dried up my tongue a little, which is also strange. And again, these have been sitting for a minute, even if they're, if they're capped, they're probably changing. This is the single barrel. And again, it smells very similar to the other one, except it's fainter. It's the only way I can put it. It also reminds me of being in the woods somewhere, but this would be more, probably closer to a swamp. Same deal with the flowers, I think. Because there is some sweetness to it, but nothing crazy. The taste on this one I like more. I don't know why exactly. Um, they're both pretty limited for my palate. And as I've said before, I usually prefer higher proofs and something with a little more kick to it. But these being at 40%, I'm having a hard time. However, I'm enjoying both of them, and I would use them both as an introduction to scotch. I know they're uh, American single malt, so it's a different thing. But as people are used to bourbons in America mostly, and, and that kind of hard liquor experience, th throwing this in someone's glass and being like, hey, smell this, <laughs> and, and then they give you a funny look, just like, do it. They'd immediately notice a difference, and they'd be... Probably curious and confused at the same time, much like I was. All in all, both good options. And I'm looking forward to the rye. That'll be the one that I will hopefully get out next week. But uh, as far as an interesting sipping experience, these are both lovely. And hopefully I'll be able to share these with people at some point in time. But until next time, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And Slancha, to your health. Thank you for joining me on Kilco. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.